Hi, I'm Lawrence Gunn, criminal defense attorney with the Can California Defense Group. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, charge of disturbing the peace. Now, this is actually covered under three different penal codes. Uh, one is 415.1, which is unlawful fighting. Uh, the other one is 415.2, which is loud music. And 415.3, which is using offensive words, sometimes called fighting words. First, we'll discuss unlawful fighting. This requires that a person willfully and unlawfully either challenge another person to a fight or actually engage in a fight and that it occur in public. For example, let's say that bars around UCSB, it's last call, they, uh, a bunch of drunken college students are out on the, the street all at the same time, one group of friends encounters another group and they start punching and kicking and hitting them. It's happened in a public place, that would constitute disturbing the, the peace by unlawful fighting, or even if the group of friends simply challenge that other group to a fight and you know put up their fists or something, that would also constitute the crime of unlawful fighting. Uh, the important part of this is the unlawful part, meaning that if you um, are in a fight but it's in self-defense or in defense of others, well, that would be uh, a valid defense. That wouldn't constitute the crime of unlawful fighting. The other uh, charge of disturbing the peace is 415.2, which is loud music. Now, this requires that the person willfully and maliciously make a loud noise that is intended to disturb another person, and it actually disturbs the, the other person. For example, let's say that Bob is having a party at his house. He's got people inside the house, outside the house. A uh, hundred people are there. He's got a DJ, and he's playing loud music in the backyard. And his next-door neighbor, Fred, has been hearing this for hour after hour after hour. He's getting pretty annoyed. Finally, he goes over to Bob's house. He knocks on the door and says, hey, it's two in the morning. Could you please turn this music way down, way, way down? Um, Fred goes back to his house. Bob goes, goes to his DJ and says, hey, turn those speakers at Fred's house and turn it up to 11. He's now intentionally doing it to annoy Fred. And as we know, Fred is already annoyed by it. So that would constitute the crime of disturbing the peace by, uh, by loud noise. The final one is 415.3, which is offensive words. <clears throat> now, this requires that a person use offensive words which are inherently likely to cause a violent reaction in the other person, and that it be done in public. Um, this is a difficult uh, crime to prove because there are also First Amendment protections to a wide variety of speech. Um, for example, say a person's in a park and they've, they're making a political speech. They make the statement in Washington, uh, off with all their heads. Well, that probably wouldn't constitute uh, offensive words because it would be seen as politically protected speech. Also, he makes no specific act towards anybody in particular, and it's just too kind of ambiguous and vague. On the other hand, say a person is, uh, gets into a fight out in front of their house, and a police officer shows up, and this person starts just spitting out every single racial slur you can possibly think of uh, against this officer regarding race, regarding religion, regarding even things that maybe couldn't even apply to this person. Well, at that level, it would probably constitute the crime of offensive words. This is actually a very low level misdemeanor. Now, a lot of misdemeanors can carry up to a year in jail. This particular misdemeanor only carries up to 90 days in jail and often can be used actually as a bargaining tool uh, for other crimes such as, uh, well, prostitution or criminal threats or even battery. Sometimes can be plea bargained down to a disturbing the peace charge. 
So if you or anyone you know is charged with disturbing the peace or a, a crime maybe that can be bargained down to disturbing the peace, please give us a call at the Can California Defense Group. We'd be happy to discuss the matter with you and see how we might be able to get it either reduced or dismissed.